In this lesson I will show you how to select stitches in stitch body to modify parts of a design. I will also introduce the structure view to you, which gives you much better control when editing embroideries. First I open the smart folder I created in our last lesson, showing my two sample embroidery files. I open the appropriate design in stitch body by double clicking on its icon. If you want to edit a design in stitch body, for example to move or to delete a part of it, it is required to select stitches first. Stitch body knows three different modes how stitches can be selected. All of them can be activated or deactivated using the edit menu. The first mode is called rectangle and it allows you to select stitches by dragging the rubber band around them. Only stitches that are completely located inside this rectangle are selected. The second mode is called section and it selects all stitches between two color changes or jump stitches. This is perfect for selecting a connected part of your design, but be careful, sometimes underlying stitches are not selected this way. The last mode is called stitch and simply selects a single stitch. All these selection modes can be used with two modification keys. If you want to select an additional part of the design without losing the current selection, just press the command key. This key is also called apple key. If you want to deselect a part, just hold the shift key while making the selection. Here comes a little demonstration. First I choose the rectangle selection mode. For my convenience I just use the related toolbar icon, but of course you can use the menu item I showed you before or shortcut as mentioned in the menu. As you can see the cursor changes to a crosshair, indicating that a selection mode is active. Now I draw a rubber band around the first two letters. Unfortunately I have selected some stitches too much, but I will correct this later. Now I click on the magic wand in the toolbar to choose the second selection mode. As I want to add the O to my current selection, I hold the command key and with a single click I am able to select the whole letter. The same is true for the N, which is also added to my current selection. Remember the stitches I accidentally selected at the beginning of this demo? I choose the third selection mode to pick single stitches. As it is difficult to identify a single stitch, I zoom into the design and scroll to the beginning of the text. The embroidery is stitched in different layers and some of the stitches are hidden under later ones. To see these underlying stitches I choose the structure view in stitch body, which reduces the line width, so I can see the complete construction of a design. Now it is easy to identify the stitches that shouldn't be selected. I just hold the shift key and click on the stitches to deselect them. At the end of this lesson I zoom out the design and deselect all stitches just by clicking on an empty part of the design. This can also be done by selecting deselect all in the edit menu next to the option to invert a selection. To deactivate the selection mode I just click on the active toolbar icon a second time. With these powerful options you're able to select exactly the stitches you like to work with. In the next lesson we will work with the easiest selection possible. We will modify the whole design and combine two embroidery files.